back to John chapter 17 and read the first three verses. John ch chapter 17 verses 1 to 3. That's where I got the title of these studies from. And as we read it, you'll see it. John chapter 17 verses 1 to 3. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given me power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Once again, I like to say, Jehovah God of the Bible, He is the only true God. All these other religions of this world, they have their gods or whatever it is. They might make a statue and decorate it and bow down to it, but those are false gods. Those, those are God idols that man has set up and they bow down to it. And how sad that is. And those who have created these idols are like them because they themselves spiritually can't hear, can't see, or can't speak. These are dumb idols that they're worshiping and they believe that that's their God because in man he wants to see the God he worships. But the Bible tells us that as we know God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Jehovah God of the Bible, He is the only true God. No matter what man might say, or how old the religion might be. Some religion goes hundreds of years back. It doesn't make it true. The Bible claims and the Bible says, without a doubt, that the God that we worship, He is the only true God. And He's the one who, who spoke, brought this universe into existence. God did. These gods can't do anything. God, God, in other verses in the Bible, God tells us Jehovah God of the Bible is from everlasting to everlasting. We can't understand that. This is the God that we have this great privilege of worshiping. And if he had saved you, he has given to you of his Holy Spirit. He's the only one who's qualified to save us and pay the penalty for our sins that we have committed against him. If you would examine the other gods of the Bible, all you have to do is, you have to do some kind of work. But the God of the Bible says, no, our works are filthy rags. Our works will never save us. Some religion demands you go to Mecca or you go to, you have to do this and you have a day of repentance or you have to, whatever they, they demand of you, they believe that that will somehow satisfy the angry gods and that will bring you into favor with their gods. But the God of the Bible, no. The only work which is sufficient is the work of Christ, which he, is, he has done the work from the foundation of the world, and he imputed this work on our behalf. See, and it's a wonderful thing. But in, let's turn to 1 John chapter 5, verse 20. 1 John chapter 5, verse 20. There you read, And we know, that the Son of God is come and hath given us an understanding. Remember, when you do our, our, our study on this, you will say that Christ has become our, our understanding and righteousness in these things, that we may know Him. That is true. And we are in Him. That is true. Even in His Son, even, uh, we are in Him. That is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. The, that's the God of the Bible. He is the true God and eternal life. He has given to us everlasting life when we have become a child of God. Eternal life. I know. Oh my, you could just go on and on about that. Although our life in this earth may come to a physical end in our spirit, we go on to live with him for all eternity. And he is the God that we worship. Look at, um, 
I think it's in 2 Corinthians. It's another passage. In 2 Corinthians. Uh, what is that? 2 Corinthians. I had it here. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, I believe. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse eighteen. Verse 18, yes. Second Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. But as God is true, as the God that we worship, but as God is true, our word toward you was not yea and nay. But that's the, that's the verse right there. But as God is true, he is the true God. Jehovah God is the true God of the Bible. And we, we could say, let God be true and every man a liar. So we don't look at, we don't spend our time looking at these false religions. You're wasting your time. There's, there's, it's, it's false. It's, it doesn't bring salvation. So if we're true believers, we don't want to educate ourselves on that religion or this religion or that religion. It's, it, we shouldn't even bother. We shouldn't. Even, all we need to know is it's false. And we spend our time studying the Bible, not other false religions or where, how they started or, or where they come from. It's come, yeah, we know where it came from. It come from the evil, come out of the evil heart of men, who design a gospel that that is false. So we don't spend our time, uh, waste our time looking at these false things. Uh, another passage too, if you would turn to the Old Testament in Jeremiah, and there's many other verses that we could look at. But this, these are only a few in Jeremiah 42. In Jeremiah chapter 42, I believe. Verse, I think it's verse 5, I believe. Jeremiah chapter 42, verse 5. Then they said to Jeremiah, Jehovah be true. The Jehovah be true. And faithful witness between us. If we do not, even according to all things for the which Jehovah thy God has sent sent the to us. So he's here the same same idea there that Jehovah is true. Jehovah be true and faithful. And if you will compare that to uh, in Revelation where God <clears throat> excuse me, God is God, Jehovah God of the Bible is true and faithful. See, and we we if you you're a true believer we hang our life on what God says because he is a faithful God. And he will bring to pass the things that he has said. Has he said, in, I believe it's in Numbers, had he, has he said and will he not do it? Has God ever said something which he has never done or will bring to pass? Yes, he will. He is a faithful God. He will do exactly as he has said because God is God. And it is impossible for God to lie. So, true believers...